Hey, what's up, you guys? This is the girl So with Brit Brit, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to learn how to alter or adjust bodice patterns. If you remember my last tutorial for bodice pattern making, I wasn't satisfied with the result of my bodice on my dress form. This time, I am going to teach you guys the correct way to alter patterns for the right fit on your model or your dress form. Before we move on to the tutorial, please be a doll and make it sure to hit that subscribe and bell button. And if you are new to my channel, make it sure to check out my pattern making and sewing tutorials. Here are the tools and the materials that we need for this tutorial. Pattern papers, back and front bodice blocks, masking tape, fashion rulers, paper scissors, pencil, and eraser. First step that we need to do is trace the back and front bodices on a piece of pattern paper. Once we are done tracing, we can now move on to the next step. Fitting the armhole. As you guys can see on this video, on my toile, the armhole ease is way too much and we wouldn't want that for our clients or for our own garments. We will adjust the fit of the armhole starting on the side seam of our bodices. Here's a quick illustration how to do it. Next step, here I am doing the same thing as seen on the illustration. I marked in 4 8 inches on the side seam. Extended the line from this mark, blending it to the bodice waistline. So for the back, it's also the same with the front bodice. Mark in 4 8 inches on the side seam. Extend the line from this mark and blend it going to the waistline. Next step, fitting the shoulder seams. As you guys can see on the video, there's a lot of excess ease on the shoulder seam and we will fix that by decreasing the ease. Here's a quick illustration how to do it. On the shoulder length, mark down to 8 inches. From this mark, extend the line going towards the next tip. For the back shoulder length, we should close the shoulder dart when extending the line. Next is fitting the gape on the front armhole. Gaping is a default in pattern making. It's alright to have gapings on your first bodice pattern drafts, but we should all know how to alter our patterns to remove the gapings. Here's a quick illustration how to do it. Draw a line from bust point going to the mid armhole where the gaping is located. Mark down to 8 inches from the mid armhole. From the 2 8 inches mark, extend another line going towards the bust point. And it will look something like this. Next, cut through the first line making two panels from this pattern. Put the first panel on top of the second panel. And your patterns should look like this.
Next, we will need an extra pattern paper to attach the patterns in place. And then I will adjust the second panel and the new dart opening. First, I will redraw the second dart leg to the bust point. Next, close the front dart. and draw a slight curve blending towards the side waistline. Cut this line and now you have your new front dart. So guys, this is my new back and front bodices, well altered or adjusted. And of course, make it sure to make new blocks for these patterns. And voila! This is the previous bodice that has a lot of ease. And the new bodice with the right ease and movement allowance. And finally, I can truly say that I am satisfied with this new adjusted bodice. Armhole is just the right fit. There are no gapings on the armhole and shoulder seams and it's just the right fit. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something new and thank you guys again for watching. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel So With With Brit and be part of our growing community. And I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial. Bye!